When the Screaming Starts is a mockumentary about an aspiring serial killer called Aiden. He's being followed by an aspiring documentary filmmaker, our kind of Louis Theroux type character, um, who is called Norman, played by Jared Rogers. And the story follows these two as they're both striving towards meeting their their goals of, of, of being somebody, of being a serial killer and being a world-renowned documentary filmmaker. We've assembled a great team. Adrian here, we've worked together for five years now, I think. Almost. Almost, almost. almost five years. We've done a couple of shorts together and we've kind of grown together. And um, we've sort of just developed this relationship now where we can kind of grunt at each other and we sort of know what the other one's talking about. And um, he's doing some amazing work here. We're going from uh, the mockumentary vibe, but we're also trying to make it cinematic at the same time. We're really thinking about composition and lighting, but staying true to the... Um, to the doc vibe and adrian you probably elaborate on that a little bit better than i will yeah so um <clears throat> my background mostly uh is in tv documentary so it, it lends itself really well to what we're doing here as connor said you know the style we're going for is mockumentary so it's got to feel like you know fly on the wall type style shooting but at the same time we don't want to cheapen it by making it feel like it the camera's going all over the place um, so we're keeping it, you know, as cinematic as we can without making it overly cinematic where it takes you out of the moment of it being documentary. Um, so it's got its challenges, but it also means that we have the flexibility to kind of keep things kind of quite minimal in how we light and how we make things look. And uh, one thing, you know, I must commend, you know, everyone on, on the crew is literally picking some fantastic locations um, because they really work so well for for the story and and uh, visually are really stunning colours pop. Uh, even the costumes and stuff, you know, just the selections of things like that, are just they just look really um, amazing. So, yeah, for me, it's an absolute, you know, dream um, project to work on because I... I uh, have uh, a bit of a fascination with serial killers as well. Um, I have a lot of serial killer books and stuff. So to kind of combine my love of documentary TV making and uh, and obviously the story of, of Aiden wanting to become a serial killer, it's, it's yeah, it's an absolute dream. Thanks, mate, for having me. Aiden Mendel is a kind of amalgamation of a huge number of real-life killers or more that he's the type of person who is absolutely fascinated by them, the, the Ted Bundys of this world, Ed Gein, who it's all the, all the people that have inspired horror films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Psycho. He's someone who is obsessed by those fictional characters and the real-life versions of them. He's a, he's a wannabe, really, more than, than a real terror as well with with norman uh, i watched a lot of louis theroux documentaries and again i think norman he sees himself as that louis theroux documentary filmmaker but really he is at the level of a uh, sort of a david brent or alan partridge kind of he thinks he's a lot higher status than he than he really is he's just a bit of a Maybe not quite as a, as much of a fool as them, but he does does fail a lot, and he's yeah he'll try to be as good as Louis Theroux, but he's just not just doesn't have that. Um, I don't know what the word is, um, but yeah, he's just just not at that that same level. But um, but yeah, I watched a lot of yeah Louis Theroux things just to see his style. Um, yeah, kind of Alan Partridge, David Brent a lot of Chris Morris stuff and just that kind of brass eye and just how how someone can try and create something brilliant and just completely fail at it. And, and that's where Norman Graysmith's documentary filmmaking lies. He's very, very arrogant and thinks he's a lot better than he actually is. Well, which you wouldn't think for something that's a bit silly, but... Um, the way that the characters are, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I know that person. Like, I know an Aiden, you know, I <laughs> hopefully don't know an Amy. But <laughs> I don't know. It feels like like kind of human and, and like the funny moments are moments that are just like, 
yeah, the more real moments, which is nice, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. The um, A lot of the comedy comes from sort of that classic, awkward British humour. It's sort of in the same vein of The Office or This Country. Mm. Um, and... But equally, you know, it is really funny. And um, but there, there is also sort of more philosophical elements to it, where you can look a bit deeper into it, because sort of throws up questions of moral responsibility. And um, yeah, it's, it, it, there's actually a great story in it because the characters go on really significant journeys and learn a lot. And um, yeah, I think there's uh, something for everyone because there's, if you're a comedy fan, particularly a British comedy fan, there's definitely something for you. But equally, if you like horror, there's so many things that um, will kind of appeal to you. And um, and then there's a lot of drama in it as well. So it, there's definitely something for everyone. And that's why it's been so much fun to be a part of because, uh, well, we've really had fun sort of exploring all of those elements and all of the characters have have all sides to them, so it's really good fun. Mm.